once again. We're hitting for 118k. Did you see that? Pixneal hit for 118k. Oh my god. I was not expecting that. Completely just swiped. Big fella! Big fella! Sit down, big fella! Good morning, guys. My name is Burrito. I play Raid and uh, I love my wife. And today, we're going to be maxing out Pixneal. So, first, we're going to drop 18 books into her, which is absolutely <laughs> bonkers. <laughs> It's ridiculous, right? Her A1 places a perfect veil for one turn on the ally with the lowest HP, damage based on attack, and damage increases, um, you know, quite a bit here. Her A2 increased defense and continuous heal on all allies for two turns. And this is post buff, by the way. This is after she got buffed, because when she first came out, when she was first fused, she was a past fusion, um, all of her skills were even more so lackluster than this. Then she attacks all enemies under freeze debuff. Then places a weakened debuff for two turns on all enemies with a freeze debuff. This is on a three turn cooldown. Her A3 used to be like four times at random, right? But now it's an AoE with a books up to 100% chance on a four turn cooldown. We don't like four turns, we like three. Four is pushing it. We don't like it. Freeze for um, one turn. And then her passive uh, is on a I can uh, two turn cooldown. All right, her passive effect: she's immune to freeze debuffs. Fills the turn meter by twenty five percent every time an ally receives a freeze debuff. So initially, you think, okay, she's going to be a torment counter. So let's you know try her out against torment. Active effect: at the end of each enemy or ally turn, that's every time an enemy or an ally takes a turn. Remove all freeze debuffs from all allies. If there are multiple, and this is where the, the cooldown comes into play, right? So this this right here, I think is uh, always gonna be in effect, but the active effect here is the one that has the cooldown. I'm pretty sure. And then if multiple uh, champions in the team have the skill, only one is gonna be able to do it. So you can't have like two Pixneals and just getting Tormund freezes removed. So let's go ahead. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. There it is, maxed out <laughs> her skills. And let's go ahead and finish off her masteries as well. And we're going to go with, um, I I'm going to build her out in complete like savage and cruelty. So we're definitely going to want to stop and think about what I'm doing here for just, just a minute, just a minute. Uh, if, if we want to nuke, we want to make sure we're getting this in. I want to make sure we're coming over to Helm Smasher. And we're gonna take Cycle of Violence. We'll take Kill Streak and take Helm Smasher, and and that, that that's what we're gonna do there. We might as well go ahead and we could either take Evil Eye to push back some turn meter, or uh, she's not gonna be going fast enough. I think I've built her kind of slow. I'll share the build in a minute. Uh, we're gonna take Cycle of Magic, I think. Or let's see what's over here. Nah, we'll take Cycle of Magic. And then we have Blood Shields, increased damage for each debuff, or Methodical. So her A1 is always going to have... Let's see. Yeah, I think I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to take her A1 for extra damage. And over here on this side, I mean, we can't extend Freeze. And we can't increase the chance of placing a Freeze. So I'm kind of like, uh, I mean... I, I don't does she does she she does place buffs so we'll take this we'll take we'll take this right because she does place the increased defense and the continuous heal which you know has some effect now she's terribly rated right she's a pretty like just shit champion all around but I'm gonna I'm going to be a complete menace and give her a five star all around just because just menace activities so if you're wondering <laughs> why why uh, the, the ratings went up for her, just know Burrito did it. Five stars all around. Finish this up here. And so, especially when it comes to her passive, you would think, okay, she's going to be a perfect counter to Tormund. Did, did it go up? It went up a bit, didn't it? I, I thought I saw some things change here. But yeah, so now everything's fully booked. 
We're gonna try her out in Arena. Live Arena just opened up, so we're gonna try out in Live Arena. And we have a Brimstone Blessing on her. So we have a 60% chance to get a Protected Smite on. And I honestly don't think I'm gonna keep this nuke build on her. It's just kind of a, a joke that I wanted to try out. But on a more serious note, if you're building out a nuker, and tell me if I'm wrong here, but I'm pretty sure if you have a five-star blessing, you could definitely go crushing rend, right? The first two hits of each round is going to ignore a percentage of the target's defense, one defense percentage for every 25 levels, and then she gets a boost to all these other stats here. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Now, ideally, I'm pretty sure your nukers or your damage dealers are going to want to take crushing rend at six stars, most definitely. You could also take Cruelty. Soul Reap is another one that I've, I've seen a lot of uh, nukers put on, but honestly, I'm not too much of a fan of Soul Reap for most arena stuff because, for an example, like uh, if I tried to use Sun Wukong's A2 and he's got Soul Reap on, oftentimes he doesn't kill my initial target because the Reaper pops up instead and kills the single target. So it's not technically Sun Wukong killing the enemy so he doesn't actually do his spread damage attack it's the reaper that does it and it kind of ruins things for me so I'm, I'm i'm moving away from soul reap um so cruelty ward of the fall and on somebody like rotos and Taurus is pretty good and then phantom touch is always you know decent depending but let me know what you guys would think i'm, I'm actually trying to i think i might even just keep her in this build and put crushing rent on her but you never know. Uh, Brimstone just seems to be okay for now. Uh, so we have our Masteries. As always, do not blindly copy Masteries, but I don't think anybody else is going to be doing this. And here are the pieces of gear. We're going Savage and Cruelty, focusing on just pretty much damage, trying to get as much speed as possible. I didn't want to take gear off of anybody else, so this is basically what we're going with here. Uh, we got Attack on the Boots. If you can get attack on the boots, but then get like a, a triple speed or something or like high speed. And I wanted to ascend this or change this ascension to speed. That would make her even faster, more, more viable in a lot of areas. That's what you're going to want to do. We have a slayer set on her. So a two piece giving us extra crit rate and crit damage. I could also put this. Uh, where is it? I could put this on her. But I would drop my damage by quite a bit, and I didn't want to do that. And the reason I, I was considering this was because of the extra speed. But as you can see, this is already faster than that. So we're just going to keep this here. We want crit damage. You know, it's standard nuke stuff, right? So attack on the chest. And then ideally you'd want attack here, but I don't have an attack. Um, what do you call it? Thing. I can't even, I just woke up. I, I can't get my thoughts out. Crit damage and then attack here. Here are the total stats. Attack, over 5k attack, almost 300 crit damage. 172 speed, very slow, not ideal. And then this bothers me here. Where is it? 105. Ideally, you'd want it like at 100. 105 is pushing it. Ideally, 103 is like the most over crit you would have, but you know, it is what it is. But all right, so... We have her built. You guys have seen the build. Let's go ahead and try her out in Live Arena. Hopefully nobody bans her, but let's be honest, I don't think anybody is. All right, here we are going up against Prime OD. Let's start off by trying to aim down on Mithrala because she's going to be very annoying. So let's see. Pixneal did... I didn't see what Pixneal did, but let's hit this, put their skills on cooldown. I'm going to try my best to showcase Pixneal's damage but let's see here let's get rid of Valkyrie because I see her making moves 29 almost 30k from Pixneal on that move right there he's probably wondering why Pixneal is in here oh he's aiming down on Pixie don't do it all right so let's hit the a3 let's slow it down oh we can't slow it down hit the a3 Oh my god, I was not expecting that. Completely just swiped. Did you see? I'm gonna slow it down. What the fuck is dude? She just was just like, whoosh. Alright, let's try this one. But we have two 
uh, block, uh, block, what do you call it? Block, uh, what, what are these called? They block, uh, debuffs? Yeah, so, and then he's got a mythical. So I don't know how we're gonna do here, but we'll see. He's gonna swipe away, isn't he? Sheesh, sheesh, yeah. This guy's insane. I really want this guy. Oh, got hit with the true fear. Wukong? Maybe I can save it? Maybe I can save it? Maybe I can save it? Skadoosh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. No. Wukong. 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 Come on. <laughs> bro. Wukong. <laughs> Tormund, you better last, bro. You better last this hit. You better survive, bro. You better survive survive this hit, bro. Me Mez whatever your name is, Mezumel. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, that's right, bro. That's right. Shazam. Uh-oh, hold on. Uh-oh. No. It's not gonna work out. It's not gonna work out. Oh wait, what oh, frozen. 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 Let's get rid of you. Uh oh, he's freaking out. I I can see him. He's freaking out. He's he's like, uh oh, maybe this isn't gonna go the way I wanted it to. Hit this. Uh oh, uh oh. What's this? What's that? What is? What's going on? What? What? My mythical champions? What? No. <laughs> Speaking too soon. You never know. You never know that he could still win this. Don't celebrate too soon, guys. Do not celebrate too soon. Because you never know when things might turn around. That's right, fucking take it. You fucking died to my Pixneal. I had Pixneal on my team, and you lost. How does that make you feel? Bitch. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That was complete luck. Alright, this one seems like it's going to be a little interesting. Let's get rid of Mighty Uko first. Get rid of the Reviver. We have three ally attackers and Pixneal. So Pixneal is like the biggest thing here for damage. Never mind. Uh, let's get rid of Sill because that's our next reviver. And 62k from Pixneal. Let's see what this does. We swipe 65, 64k on Whirlim. Let's get the uh, whatever you call that move in. And let's hit this. Get rid of UDK. Let's boost our turn meter. Boom. Okay, so he's got his thing, and we're going to do our ally attack. And yeah, so Pixneal didn't even get to hit that time, but Pixneal did the most damage with 179. Let's do another fight here, since I, I need to do it for the Marius missions anyway. Godson Odin. Godson Odin. Godson Odin. Godson Odin. Godson Odin. Alright, so I'm purposely... You should ban Harima here, but I'm purposely going to leave her in just so I can get a damage test off of Harima. And we're going to take uh, Cardiel in here. Since Harima is pretty tanky, uh, I wanted to see. I wanted to see what we would be able to do against her with Pixneal. So we're going to go first, and we're going to attack Arbiter. We got 21 from Pixneal there. Let's go ahead and let's... I want to save the damage for her. So let's boost turn meter. And let's get Wukong out of the picture for a minute. All right, now let's hit this A3. 24, respectable. Respectable against Harima. Good to know. Now let's get her out of here. 24k on Harima. And then we're going to hit you. Bow. Damn, we got the stun. Eric's. Make a move, Eric's. 
make a move. Come now. Oh no. Shit. Cleanse. Block damage or block debuffs. And let's. We're gonna get rid of these buffs off of you, Sun Wukong. All right, now this is interesting because he has the fr or Eric's has the freeze, and we know that there's some mechanics that are involved when the when this champion has uh, when somebody has freeze, weaken goes on. So place the buffs and then attacked, placing the weaken, and now we can place our ally attack here, and Pixnail hits four thirty nine k. We'll do one more. All right, we got rid of Mithrala because I wanted to keep UDK around to see how much damage I could do again with um, Pixneal. And I kept him around just for the challenge of it. If he would just hurry up and choose who he wants to ban. There you go. Oh, and I guess it kind of makes sense because without Mithrala, there is no cleanse. And Mithrala can be pretty annoying with her petrification. Oh, we have stone skin going on. Very nice. Those are those are very, very good. Very good, very good, very good. Let's do um let's do this. Alright, and can we take buffs off? We take that off of Toshiro. Uh, revive probably there you go revive you get the freeze Toshiro doesn't get the freeze but he hits us pretty hard so that's pretty cool I like that but he goes bye bye all right so now that UDK has the oh what should we do here let's actually transform and we're gonna stun let's go get the stun off oh how did she heal that's crazy all right here we go we're gonna be able to see the a3 in action once again, we're hitting for 118k. Did you see that Pixneal hit for 118k? Now, obviously, she's not going to out damage somebody like Sun Wukong or Rodos, but I mean, that's pretty cool, right? This is a pretty cool build, I, I think, to try her out in. And this is just me being a CC and completely, <laughs> you see what I mean? Just the, the, the complete nuke. This is just CC activities. I don't recommend you guys do this. All right. But again, um, she is in spare, uh, savage, and cruel gear. So I still think that's that's pretty pretty cool. And what do you call it? What, what am I trying to say? When it comes to building up Pixneal, I think it might be worth it more so to build her out what she was meant for. I mean, I don't know. She seems to be doing pretty well right now. And she was meant to be a support type champion. So maybe just build her out like that. Now she didn't, she wasn't able to uh, do much there because she died, but. And obviously she's not going to be any type of meta champion. I, like, I don't think she's going to be, you know, she's just not going to do meta things. So obviously putting her up against somebody like, I don't know, Narcisse and Ancora isn't going to do well. 172 on Sil. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, we place our buffs. Okay, that's fine too. But I mean, it, you know, sometimes you just look for fun things to do and you know, this happens to be one of them. We're going up against Loki and all these guys. I haven't fought any of these guys before. So th this is going to be interesting. Let's see, Teox. Ooh, he hit pretty hard. 122 on Loki. One was at 117. Who is this guy? Oh, he's sheep now. He's a sheep now. What are we doing here, Pixneal? What are we doing here? Attack, bro. Attack. Could have ended it sooner. So, you know, goodbye to his mythical. That, I mean, that was a pretty cool team. Let's actually do um. Let's just test it out. I want to see Pixneal versus Narcis. He's probably going to outspeed... Okay, never mind. That that pretty much answers the question there. <laughs> Let's do... Um... Oh, uh, Faction Wars. If you're looking for a damage dealer for Faction Wars, she just might be the one to do it for you. Because in this faction, one of the issues that I've often found is I don't really have damage dealers outside of Royal Guard. Right? I, on this account, I just have a lot of support champions. 
So it kind of makes sense now that I'm seeing it to leave Pixneal in a Savage and Cruel set, right? 27,000. She was hitting for over 100,000 uh, in Arena. That's, you know, pretty cool. She's got the freeze mechanics. She has some accuracy. Remember that? She's got some accuracy going on. So she is able to place freezes here and there. Let's see. Can we uh, man-eater? Yeah, there you go. I was trying to get man-eater before he places his block buffs. because, Or the unkillable. Because that just, that's just going to extend the fight even further. There you go. Let's hit that. 35. 35k. Alright, here we are. Basically just waiting for Pixneal to take her turns. What are we doing here? Okay, we're placing the increased defense and the continuous heal. 128 on this champion here. You know what was funny? Last night, we were... Um, or the, earlier this morning, I was in Channel 2. And uh, somebody goes, somebody goes, good day, Channel 2. And then me and this other guy started low-key trolling him. And so one guy was just like, well, he started it, right? The, the other guy. And he's like, what do you mean by good day? Do you mean that it is simply a good day? Or that you, you happen to wish me a good day? Or is it a day that it is, or is it the kind of day that it is um, good to be on? Or something like that. But basically it was a reference to The Hobbit. And I perpetuated it by joining in on the uh, the troll. And it was pretty funny. And then he, he was like, he was like um, after after like five minutes, he asked, Hey, is uh, Kale and... Um, is Kale and Ninja a good team for campaign farming? And then I was like, what do you mean by good team? Do you simply mean that it's a team to be... Just, just to, you know, be a little funny. Uh, but that was funny. Um, let's test her out in Dragon. I just want to see. Let me, let me just see how far she'll get by herself. Because she is, you know, in a damage set, she has some utility right now. And she does have the increased defense and the continuous heal. I, I feel like she might be okay. Yeah, nope, never mind. Okay, well, what if I make her... Because she's not fast right now. So what if I pair her with somebody like... Where's Arby at? We have the meats. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, and, and she gets the increased attack from Arbiter as well. So that is something. Look at that. The waves, bro. The way She's making waves, bro. 85k, bro. 58k, bro. There you go, 92, 45. Not in speed running time, but still. 52, got the cycle of magic popping off here. Hitting the A3, 50K, I saw 113 against Horden over there. Arby doing some work as well, hitting for 91K. Cycle of magic just popped off once again. Hitting the A3 for 70, I, th I saw 87 on Apothecary. And 48k there. And let's see what we do here. We're doing 62. We got the smite on. 71k. Smite just landed. Increased defense. Continuous heals. We're doing things. 82k. Another 88. So pretty consistent. Somewhere between 85 to 90k. 109 on that one. Staying alive. 51k. I mean, do you guys think that Pixneal... Would you build Pixneal like this? Is this something that you would do? Probably not. Uh, 18 books is insane. Right? 18 books is ridiculous. I, I don't even think they came out with another champion that does 18 books after, after Pixneal. Right? I mean, can you think of anybody? I feel like they they came out with this champion, put out 18 books to test out to test the waters to see what the community would say to it, and it was not well received. I feel like they should 
they should have dropped the the book requirements. They should have changed it. I, I think it would have been a very simple thing for them to to do. But then you get you, you get guys like me who who do it just for the memes. By the way, at 3,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a Forge Pass to somebody randomly.